This is beautiful. And this is meeting expectations. We're at the Henry Street Ale House today, and we're going to be trying a beer that I tried about a year ago. This is going to be an interesting retesting or retasting to see if Belgian beers can meet expectations. Today, we're going to be working with Airborne. There is a link below in the description box of the first tasting that I did of that. There's also a legend that has to do with it, and you can see that as well in the description box. Today, at the Yale House, we've got Jerry Scott and Jim Bennett. We're ready to see exactly how this one tastes. Now remember, a year ago, and the link is down below in the description box, I tried it myself. This time, we're going to be seeing if it meets expectations here. We're expecting a brown ale, slightly hopped, a little funky flavor, and a big head. What have we got? It's brown. Definitely brown. It's brown. Relatively clear. Almost garnet, and yep, relatively clear. The aroma? Sweet. Not yeah. much to it. Not, not a lot of a little bit of berry flavor. Oh, you get some berry there. I think so. I think so. Yeah. All right. And that's It's a brown. It's an ale. It's got some. It's got some sweet to it, but some of these are a bit more bitter. Yeah, pretty well balanced. It's, it's yeah. very, very nice. Particularly for a beer that's been in the bottle for a year. Very nice. So. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice. It, it, it's not, uh, uh, I don't taste the uh, fruitiness that I smell. And it's not as funky as I was expecting. You were expecting funky, but it says so on the, on the, on the label. I on the label. don't know what the funky is, but we're willing to continue drinking it. Quite a well, I tell you. I might not carry it in a helmet to anybody, but it is a drinkable beer. Does it meet expectations? Uh, without a doubt, yes. It's definitely a Belgian ale. It's nice, nice brown Belgian. Nice brown. If you like brown Belgians, you'll like this beer. This is a great beer. And so, Airborne Belgian meets expectations. I'm Pete LaFrance. If you liked this presentation, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And there's that red box down there on the left-hand side of the screen. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see all of the tastings that go on here at the Ale House. I'm Pete LaFrance, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.